Sunday fun day party people. All right, so what is up and what is percolating YouTube? It is your host with the most, Paul Cantu, reporting live and direct with a new weekly thrift fit rotation video where essentially I show you guys how I ball in the budget, incorporate high fashion shit with thrifted clothing to form a trifecta of awesome infusion of sexy stylishness. But I'm at Target right now. I gotta get some damn duct tape, some uh, candy flavored kind, you know, for the women's. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm at Target right now though, flossing and glossing in Austin. Where the fuck is the duct tape? Your boy is about to go off in Target. I swear to God, I'm in the party section right now, but there ain't a party going on because they ain't got no damn duct tape. Ooh, but your boy found it, that green apple flavored duct tape. About to go in on this, mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright partner, shout out to Target for coming through with the balls haul. But uh, yeah, essentially I'm getting a bunch of stuff to shoot a really dope video with that's going down this week. And all I was wearing in there is just all black because I'm chilling like a villain. So how to look fly while chilling, throw on some high quality bedazzled joggers, and then just a black t-shirt with some gold accessorized and keep it all blacked out, you feel what I'm saying, baby? Oh yeah, baby, immaculate sunshine right there. shit I did last week, we was about to take it down. But we be experimenting on this beautiful, majestic ass Monday. Back in the room, better pop a few shrooms. No, I'm just kidding. Um, But I'm back right now, as you guys saw, those were a couple of quick glimpses of some art that I made with my co-conspirators in my class. But without further ado, I gotta go shoot another video from one of my video classes. So uh, y'all probably gonna catch a full glimpse of what I have on in that. But let's get to it right now. We got a rude boy with a tool on that a blues ball. Have no sympathy for the enemy if he move wrong, get the crew on him like what I'm supposed to do, ain't no hesitation, either me and you, we all born to die, fuck built to lose, talk on egotistic, but who really isn't got the need an army with potato drum. <laughs> How to look fly whilst chilling 101 Space Age edition. Shout out to Saltillo on deck, baby. Look at that metallic thread count out the ass. Got the foamies on deck. But I had to show you guys this space age fit real quick, like before I change clothes and quit breaking the necks of them hoes. You dig what I'm saying? I'm in love with that coco. So I'm about to plaster cast a motherfucking huda, aka an owl. Witness this deliciousness. You know what it is, nose candy. I go hard in the motherfucking kitchen. Half thing, whole thing, nigga. I'm bitching. Hit it with the soap. Work and complete. So it's a plaster disaster in this era. Art building trap house. We got kilos of cocaine right there. But low key, I always wanted some Lance Mountain Jordan ones. So all this uh, bedazzled and sprayed out plaster on my on my little dunks. But yeah, I got on this racist image uh, shirt with my little political statement hat. If you guys haven't seen that video, go way back in the archives and watch it. And then once again, the William Ross J.C. Penny camos, straight up World War II stilo. But uh, anyways, yeah, just whipping in work in the cocaine lab. And uh, <laughs> I hate school. Go hard in the motherfucking tank, nigga. Let you stank it, nigga. What the fuck you thinking? Rise and shine, Austin, Texas. You know. Throughout life, there's a lot of feelings you may have here and there. But I'll tell you one thing. There's no feeling that's better 
than waking up and knowing you accidentally yet purposely look swagnificent. Like look at this. All white everything. Hits of bananas on the banana. I don't give a fuck socks when in reality I give more fucks than any of you guys could ever imagine. Look at this. This is like the beauty of going to sleep. You don't know how you'll wake up, but when you do, you realize everything is just but a dream. A dream come true when you're a marshmallow encrusted thrift god. All right, guys, what is up? It is a beautiful, marvelous, freaky Friday, and I actually am going right now. Hey, yo, check out that random art. Truck, do not get my star child blueberry looking behind. But yeah, I'm actually taking my truck to get repaired finally from that hit and run ish which is kind of annoying and it's probably gonna cost a hell of a lot of money on some stupid stuff because i got major like dents on the side of my truck and on the back because it's been hit like multiple times on some bs stuff but anyways man yeah i'm gonna go get that repaired but hey you know what it's a beautiful day outside i ain't nothing but blessed ain't no reason to stress all i got is burgundy on my chest aka that's denim get your dick wet <laughs> i don't even know what i'm saying but yeah let's get my truck repaired real quick like ah uh, this onslaught of traffic though man Lord have mercy, mama done raised a real thug. Me and my daddy cool, but he showed me tough love. Son of a dick. Ah, so I'm going into O'Reilly to get another bulb. But yeah, man, they messed my shit up right there, dented that. And then I got dents on this side too from this thrift store incident that I didn't record. But yeah, so all kinds of jacked up mess. Going in here and let's see what they can do. Swag, swag, baby, we back in action. All right, now let's get some estimates. I'll get my chrome fixed and twisted back to the right uh, form and shit. Do they? They some hoes. If you guys ever hit somebody, don't burn off. That's some major hoe shit. Like, just FYI. I don't know if y'all see that price. That's how much this shit costs. I got hoed. So I'm about to go to some other places and see what, uh, what they can do in terms of pricing. But that's some damn bullshit. Bullshit! It's bullshit, man. Here we go again. Stop number two. Calibre Colision. I don't even know why I'm like happy right now. Like I should be actually upset because I'm not about to pay 4G's to get this shit repaired on some bullshit. So what's up, people? I went into that Calibre Colision place and got straight rejected by the um, very, very nice customer service oriented mistress sitting at the desk. JK, she's a complete dick. Um, but yeah, she's just rude as fuck which I do not appreciate, especially after receiving the news that I'll have to pay four G's um, to get the total damages on my truck fixed. These people don't know how to drive either. Come on, people, learn to freaking drive. But that brings me to the new point is, uh, you know what, people? Take responsibility for your actions, children. So basically what that means is, if you hit someone's car, if you're drunk, if you're sober, I don't give a damn. If you hit somebody's car, you pull over and you leave your insurance. If you don't have insurance information, you leave your phone number and you pay them motherfucking cash. Also, get insurance. Secondly, take responsibility. If you impregnate some chick, just know you better take your kid and be responsible for that little motherfucker that you done fucked up with and had an accident. Okay? Take responsibility for your kids, for your grades, for your life. Because at this point right now, as you hear me, you, hold on, let me take off the glasses so you know I'm serious. At this point right now, you are responsible for every decision, every choice, and everything you do. You no longer are a victim of your circumstances. You're aware of what the fuck you need to do to improve your life, improve yourself, and be a better individual. So you better freaking do it. And it doesn't matter whether you do it stylistically, if you do it to improve your education, or if you do it in some other facet of life. Just strive to improve yourself and be a good human being on this earth. That is all Paul preaches. All right, this New Jersey license plate having ass a bug driving bitch, I mean woman, needs to move her damn car because I'm trying to record a video um, and she's all up in the way. All right, that's what I'm talking about, girl. Go ahead and move because I'm trying to show off my outfit because I think I look cute today. If you ain't trying to give me your number, get to stepping, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but for real, here's the full fit. Business casual as fuck, the huh? Alright, alright. Are you still time? Are you still time? Are you still time? I get, I get. Rolling out the slab and I still look good. Pouring up the juice and that can pay for my food. Oh, that 
boy got that big ass package. You better ask your girl about me. All right, so what's up, guys? It is Sunday, right? Actually, it's Monday right now. This is gonna be the final day of the uh, weekly thrift fit rotation video. My boy Luis came through in the clutch with the Jennings jersey right here. The Bucks on deck. Got some $16 joggers, the 12s. Got my little Aquaberry watch from Buffalo Exchange. A normal ass hoodie. And shout out to the homie Orlando for designing and coming up with this dope ass hat. But that's the full fit. But I got two huge pack of jaws or parcels in the mail. And I'm just going to unbox them on cam for the fam. And also while I'm doing this, if you guys saw any items in this video that I was rocking and want to know where I got them from, definitely check out the links down below. All right, guys, holy ball sack. This is from the homie Victor Guzman. And he knows, as do all my OG viewers, that I have a fish fetish. So homie came through in the clutch with the full body graphic ass swordfish straight fire pillow. Yes, thank you so much. But wait, there's more. He also threw in, uh oh, oh freak yes. Oh hell, oh, oh look how inspirational. Paul Cantu dances with the wolves. This is size large evidently. Man, hold up. Look at this fit of the day though. Bang, bang. Huge shout out to the homie. Yeah, I'm sending you a dope ass uh, jersey in return for these items. I am so grateful for this pillow like you guys don't even know. So if you guys ever come across any sick fish pillows at the thrift, I will cop them and pay for shipping or do whatever is necessary or send you dope stuff. So thank you, Victor. You are a superhero. All right, so shout out to the homie right here. We worked out a trade. And uh, I usually don't do too many trades. However, this was just a fire piece that I saw. Holy crap. What? Dude. Bro hooked it up. Wait, what? Homie threw in some shoes for no reason. Shout out to you. Oh my God, Rusty Hatchet, you're a boss. But he also threw in this pro player, Aquaberry to go with the watch. Charlotte Hornets, a big logo, all embroidered in. Hornets jacket, this is fire. And he sent out this Charlotte Hornets like crew neck by Logo Athletic, what? And also this T, what? Holy, oh my balls. Oh my dear Lord balls. You guys see this flame? You guys see this flame? All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, sorry if my reaction was just like out of this world, but that was a genuine ass reaction because I didn't know like half the stuff was in that box. So huge shout out to the homie Rusty ha Rusty Rusty Hatchet on kick. Um, I don't know if you want me to put your real name out there like that. Sorry, Victor, if I did that to you. But anyways, man, I'll leave links to y'all's Instagrams down below and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for the hookups. And uh, leave the dream, eat ice cream, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. And uh, keep shrimping and pimping in the sea of life. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life. I rooster. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.